Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation, and today we are going over a full walkthrough guide on how to beat the Alexius Plus event. Now, in case you didn't know, I beat the entire Alexius event the very night that it came out uh, live on stream for you guys. Uh, I might actually still have the video somewhere on my channel, but I beat the whole thing, including stage 13, as soon as the event dropped. Um, and I've been wanting to make a guide for you guys on uh, how to beat it ever since then. But I've been a little bit backed up and haven't really been able to like get this out today. I also wanted to wait till I actually got the Lexius Plus medal as well. So that way I can make as much as thorough of a guide as possible for you guys um, to try and reach as many of you as possible. Without further ado, I did a lot of testing. I have my notes here. I have like, I have like three pages worth of notes and stuff <laughs> so we got a lot to go through uh and for anybody watching i will be leaving timestamps down below both in the description and comment section uh for the different stages of the event as well in case you just want to skip through the video other than that let's get started all right so if we go ahead and take a look at the alexis event okay we know there's 13 stages all right now each of the 13 stages uh, kind of vary in difficulty as to like what like depending on where you are in the game as to like how far you can go And from what I've seen the first three stages beginners can pretty much complete on their own um, If you have guilted medals, okay throughout this entire event you pretty much need uh, Fully guilted medals in order to beat the event beginners at the very least if with just basic staple medals that you get in like the beginners deal top drawer deal and such um, just basic staple medals uh, you can be all the way up to stage three and it's not until stage four that you start reaching more of a intermediate difficulty this is where things start getting a little bit more complicated and you start having to stray away from the beginners type of setups and go more towards a uh, intermediate type setup like so like even if you don't have the greatest of medals you can still use some of the latest medals that have been coming out at the very least to beat the, uh, the, the event once you start reaching stage 9 and 10 is where you're gonna have to start using some of the more uh, meta medals that are in the game okay some of the more advanced some of the more latest uh, basically like the tier 8 type medals essentially in order to uh, beat this event that's in terms of like the ranges of difficulty in the game now before we get started with the guide there's a few key concepts that you guys need to know beforehand uh that apply to almost all of the stages in this event okay all right so we're currently in stage four and i'm merely using this uh this stage as an example to help show you guys some of the concepts you need to learn about All right, so the first thing that you guys need to know about is the fact that Lexius Plus has something called revenge counters. These are relevant in a majority of the Kingdom Hearts games where basically once you start reaching a certain uh, threshold in their HP, they will automatically start going into a certain type of move, okay? And in terms of Union Cross, what that means is that they will automatically attack back even though the enemy's counters haven't reached zero just yet. So this right here, because we are in stage four. Okay, so looking at right here, okay, we are in stage four, and the threshold for Lexius in stage four is once you start reaching below uh, 713 bars of HP is one who automatically do his revenge counter. Now, as of right now, this is my setup, okay, and I'm currently on the second medal. And once I use this second medal, he should go below that 713, and he will automatically attack back. All right, and now he should do his revenge. Okay, there we go. See? All right. Now, there's something you need to notice when he does this, okay? The first one being that, uh, obviously, he attacks back. The second one being, though, that every time he does... Let me get rid of that noise. Every time he does his revenge counter, he automatically fully buffs himself all the way up to seven okay this is what happens when you bring his uh his counters all the way down to zero and that is what happens when he does his revenge counter when he reaches a certain hp threshold and solely because of the fact he does this it is really difficult to turtle him uh especially in the later stages it's impossible to tur turtle him in the later stages now you could probably get away with turtling him now you could probably get away with turtling him uh for like a few stages but for the most part uh it's not gonna really work because of the fact that he does 
kill you. He, like, he's automatically going to kill you every time he does that revenge move, the big striking thing. Now, the basic strategy you want to keep in mind for this entire event is that Lexius does have two thresholds, two revenge counters for each stage in this entire event, all right? But essentially, the basic concept you want to keep in mind is that you want to try and get his HP as close as possible to the first threshold, okay, without actually going past it, okay? And then you skip your medals until you get to your hardest hitting medal. Use your hardest hitting medal to just rip through it as far as possible. He will do his revenge counter, and then after that, you try and get as close as possible to his second threshold again as well. And that, and you do the same exact thing. You skip until you get to your hardest metal, and then you just try and hopefully rip through him and kill him in that one shot. All right. And medals such as Luxius Plus are really great for instances like this because they just, they just, they will help you rip through it, especially if you don't have any of the reverse debuff medals. Uh, he will be a great medal for you to use. Now, the second thing you must keep in mind when fighting Lexius Plus is that uh, this is a little bit more relevant in the later stages, but overall, starting from stage 4 and onwards, you have to, have to reach his first threshold by your second turn, or you will automatically just lose that entire stage, okay? If you do not reach that first threshold by your second turn, you will die most likely by at the end of that turn okay and then you'll actually reach your your the first threshold on your third turn but because the fact you just reached it he will kill you and you'll run out of second chances or pet skills by that point and you won't even be able to get to his second threshold so you literally have to reach his first threshold by your second turn already uh in order to make sure you can try and beat him on every single stage starting from stage four and up all right so going into stage one all right let me show you my setup that I'm using. This is a very easy stage, and a lot of beginners can actually beat this stage um, with the very basic of setups too, all right? As long as you know how to put together a setup, you can very easily beat this stage. Now, just to point out, like I mentioned before, you do need Gilted Medals in order to beat these events. Um, so even if you have beginner medals, so like such as right here, I'm using the Starlight for stage one. Um, and the medals that I have on this setup are very easily accessible and easy to replicate because they're pretty much common staples that you can get in the game right now. And just to take a look at my equipment, all right, look at this. We have 0.2 Kyrie right here. That you can get in the beginner's deal. This right here, the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie, you can get in the beginner's deal or the top draw. Uh, you can get in the beginner's deal or the top drawer deal, either one. HD Pete right here, you can get in the top drawer deal. However, if you don't have HDP, you can put HD Shion in that slot instead and have a HD Final Form Sora like this one right here and put it right here in the fourth slot instead and it'll do the same thing. But in this case, I have my Key Art Bonds copying HDP and then I have a Nominate copy medal. If you don't have Kingdom Hearts 2 Nominate, you can still use HD Nominate. That will work for it too. And I have an HD Zexion in my Spear slot. All these medals are very easily accessible and very uh, easy to get in the current permanent deal banners that we have as of right now. All right, and I want to also show you guys, if we take a look at the stuff I have, all right, I have no extra attack on any of my medals in this setup, all right? Some have some uh, minus 60 traits on them, but it's honestly not that big of a deal for stage one. This is the main reason why this setup works, okay? In this stage, general defense down is absolutely critical in order to obtain and use on Lexius Plus because he is going to be very high level. So general defense down is going to be uh, one of the most important debuffs you have to put on him if possible. So the way that this setup works right here that I have on Starlight is that we're using the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts to Kyrie over here uh, for two reasons. One, for SP gauge restoration as well as healing the healing isn't very relevant as of right now but will become relevant in later stages um, but as of right now at the very least it's there for sp gauge restoration we use 0.2 Kyrie over here as our primary strength buffer as well as a little bit of general defense down debuffs she provides minus one general defense down right and the cap is at seven so we need two 
uh, bring that to seven. We need six more gauges, but she starts off with one. And that is why we're using HDP over here because he gives us minus three. So it's a total of four so far. And once we copy HDP, that gives us another three, which is a total of minus ah, seven gauges. All right. Now, as I explained before, if you don't have HDP, what you could do, uh, assuming you have the metals, you can use HD Shion in place of HDP. Um, so that way you can copy an HD Final Form Sora that's in the fourth slot instead if you can ha if you have HD Final Form Sora. All right. That will still obtain the same thing. Um, just keep in mind too that that if you do decide to use a Final Form Sora instead, uh, I'm using HD Zexion in my pet slot, but instead of HD Zexion because he's a reverse metal, try to use an upright metal instead. Uh, so that way you can take advantage of the upright buffs that an HD Final Form Sora provides. One of the main reasons why I'm using HD Zexion in this setup is because of the fact I'm using Pete, and Pete provides a reverse buff. Um, and I'm trying to take advantage of that. But at the very least, achieving that goal of minus seven general defense down is your primary goal uh, before anything else. I should also say it as well that it also helps that HD Zexen over here does provide plus four PSM buffs. So if you need a good PSM uh, or attribute buffer metal, HD Zexion could be a possible substitute that you could use. All right, so for stage one, you can pretty much as long as you have hard damaging metals towards the end, it doesn't really matter what type of friend metal you use. Um, as long as it's a gilted metal. All right, all right, so we're doing, we're gonna do this, all right? So we're gonna let it run on autopilot just so you can see this, all right? Look at that. All right. So now we defeated Lexius on stage one. Okay, so now for stage two, it's going to be very similar to stage one. Uh, this time, I'm going to be personally using the Mugo of Glory. But if you could take a look right here, the setup is still pretty much very similar to what it was for the Starlight. Um, I'm still using a lot of the same metals, uh, as well as I'm still using metals that are still easily accessible and obtainable in the permanent banners in the top drawer deal and the beginner's deal uh, that's currently in the game. Now to just quickly explain this setup real quick for you, essentially what's going on right here, uh, very similar to the Starlight like I mentioned before, you want to try and get that general defense down. This setup actually only provides a minus four total of general defense down. We get one from 0.2 Kyrie. Uh, HD Zexion actually provides minus one general defense down and because of the fact we're copying them twice that's another two times we get that general defense down all right so we all together get four now although four is not the ideal it ends up working out because of the fact that we get we pretty much are able to max out almost everything else um, and Lexius plus in stage two isn't strong enough where 
uh, you have to have the minus seven just yet. Uh, minus seven is what will help the most, but it isn't absolutely required just yet against stage two. All right. And we are using in the spirit slot, we're using Kingdom Hearts 2 nominate. Again, if you don't have that, you can use HD nominate instead or HD anti form sore. Any type of forward copy metal you can use in the pet slot. And I will be using this to copy my friend's Lexius Plus Metal and using my friend's Lexius Plus Metal as my primary source of damage. Either through my copy metal, my, my Kingdom Hearts 2 nominate copy metal, or through my friend's actual uh, friend metal itself. Alright, so now we're in stage 2 and we're going to go fight Lexius Plus. Again, I want to state that I have absolutely no defensive skills whatsoever. And I'm just going to go ahead and let this run on autopilot. And there we go. We have beaten stage two. Now, stage three actually ends up being the same as stage two. So I'm not going to go ahead and do the battle for that. I used the exact same setup that I used in stage two for stage three to beat stage three. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so if you're watching this through the timestamp, just go ahead and check out stage two instead. Now for stage four, this is where you start reaching the intermediate territory. As well as this is where counters start appearing and this is also where his revenge counters start appearing. Um, at this stage, without knowing what type of traits that you guys have, so assuming you're like you have no uh, extra attack medals in your setup, you will start needing at least like one stained glass medal or a Kyrie Shoni X of some sort uh, in order to start beating this event. All right, so just to explain my setup real quick, this is my setup. Um, I'm using, just like I mentioned before in the other three stages, I'm using my Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyra over here as my primary source of SP Gauge Restoration. I'm using HD Antiform Sora over here to copy my stained glass number four um, to get the initial debuffs. And then stained glass number four itself in the third slot will max out the rest of the debuffs. And the only thing we be missing would be a reverse debuff um which we which lexius plus himself uh provides if you were to be using lexius plus all right and then i just have key art bonds over here copying my stained glass number four now as you can pretty much see this this is pretty much mostly just copy metals illustrated converts to Kyrie and my stained glass number four if you don't have stained glass number four you can go ahead and pick a different Keyblade that you can use a stained glass metal on and just revolve it around that too, and that'll still work. In my case though, I just used stained glass number four because it was very easy to uh, explain. And in my pet slot, I'm using Scar, and I do want to point out that my Scar has no skill at all and even isn't max guilted yet. Um, it's just simply guilted and has no relevant traits or skills at all whatsoever on him. All right, so jumping into stage four, all right. Like I mentioned before, this is where Lexius Parse starts to have counters, and that is shown right here above his head with the number 30 number on it. And this is also the point where he starts doing revenge attacks as well. So once his uh, HP goes below 713 HP for his first threshold, or 108 HP for his second threshold, that's when he will start doing his counter attacks. And just like I mentioned before, I'll be having this on autopilot and you do need to start having either like a stained glass metal or a Kyrie Shoni X of some sort uh, for this stage, assuming you don't have any extra attacks on your metals to be able to uh, beat it with some easier setups.
So as you guys saw right there, that was his first revenge attack. Okay, so stages 5, 6, 7, and 8 are actually going to be the exact same thing as stage 4. Or at least my advice is going to be the exact same thing as stage 4. So if you would like any help for the stages, go ahead and check out my advice for stage 4. Now for stage 9, I'm actually going to be using the Moogle of Glory just because of the type of metals that I have. But essentially what you need to know about stage 9 in terms of setups is that it's starting at stage 9 and possibly stage 8 too, depending on what type of metals you have. Uh, in which you need to start using some more of the meta-ish type metals or some of the more recent uh, like tier 7, tier 8 metals. So, um, so just like before my Starlight, I am using a stained glass metal. But I'm, I am also using a Master Xehanort EX metal too. Don't worry if you don't happen to have Master Xehanort EX. Uh, if you want to use the Mughal Glory, you can just use whatever strongest re magic reverse damage metal you have and try to use that. Um, just keep in mind, you don't have to use the Mughal Glory either. This is just simply what I use to match the slot's attributes that I was using for my metals. So like if you're using... Um, so like in my case, I was using Stained Glass number 4, so it made more sense to try and run Moogle of Glory uh, in this type of setup. And I wanted to do a Magic Reverse type build using my Master Xehanort over here to do a little bit of extra damage against my Alexius enemy over here because he is a power type enemy. Um, but that's what I was trying to go for. You don't have to go ahead and do that. Just keep in mind, you will start needing some more of the more recent damage metals in order to do so. Now, for stage 9, I'm actually going to start using Lex Plus again. Um, now, if you really want to, depending on the Keyblade, you can, you can still use Lex Plus on the previous, the last five stages. So, stages 4 through 8, if you want to as well. Uh, I know I use Scar for stages 4 through 8, but you don't have to use Scar. Um, Lex Plus will still work just fine too. But for stage 9, you definitely want to try and start using Lex Plus if possible, even if it's just through a friend metal, just like I am using right here. Okay, so there's a few different changes about Lexius this time for stage 9. The first one being that this time he actually has his counters all the way down to 10 this time. It was 30 before uh, for the previous stages, but this time it's 10, which is definitely something worth mentioning um, and his HP is now at 5,203 HP bars his threshold his first threshold is once you hit below 1713 HP bars is when he'll do his first counterattack. and his second threshold is once you hit below 261 HP bars is when he'll do his second counterattack. Okay, so just like usual, he is going to use his counterattack on his first attack. That is completely normal, and we are completely expected to die on that first attack. It's this set. Now, we're on the second turn right now. This second turn is when we need to hit that first threshold, or otherwise we will fail this uh, stage. And the first threshold, just a reminder, is 1713, so once we hit below that is when he'll do his first counterattack. Okay, so right here, I'm expecting to hit below that threshold, um, and we're actually pretty lucky right here as well, because of the fact that this is my last metal, so instead of doing his regular throwing attack, he'll still do his counter attack after I use this metal, which is exactly what we want, because we do want to reach that threshold on the second turn. There we go. We reach below the first threshold. Okay, so now it's the third turn. And the second threshold is at 261 HP bars. Once we hit below that is when he'll do his, for his uh, second counterattack. And we want to try and kill him before he can do his second counterattack. Now, because of the fact that fighting Lexius on all these upper stages are the exact same thing uh, in terms of concepts. And, you know, making sure you get as close to their threshold as much as possible. Then ripping through it uh, and, you know making sure you reach their first threshold on your second turn. Uh, everything I mentioned in the beginning of the video, because all of that is the same throughout the entire event, uh, I'm not going to be shooting gameplay <laughs> for these stages, because uh, there's really no point. It's, you guys already know what's what's happening at this point. Um, but I will talk about new concepts you need to know. Okay, so for stage 10, I'm actually switching up the setup uh, just a little bit. Now, at this point, you pretty much... This is pretty much where like all the hardcore people... Uh, are gonna be 
and is basically when you need to start using all of the really hard hitting damage metals. Metals such as uh, FFRK Warrior of Light, or Terra, and Lexius Plus. These are pretty much going to be the three metals they basically need to need to use uh, in order to beat this stage in some way, shape, or form. So, in this case, this is the setup that I'm running. I'm running uh, Kyra over here for a little bit S SP gauge restoration at the beginning of the setup. Uh, and then obviously I'm using stained glass number four in order to uh, finish off the buffs and debuffs Well, just primarily the debuffs at the very least and then I'm pretty much just using Lexius plus three times right here for that setup And then I even have an illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie in my pet slot And that'll probably end up being surprising to you guys the most now The reason why I have the Kyrie medal right here in my pet slot is because of the fact I don't have an SP gauge re uh, Reduction skill on my Lexius right here. So this entire setup does consume nine gauges so I really do need to conserve my SP gauge uh, as much as possible. And I will be using a friend's Lexius Plus medal as well. So as much SP gauge restoration as possible, the better. Now for anybody who happens to be struggling with SP gauge restoration or management, you can easily, if you really need to, you can always swap positions with the Kyrie EX or the stained glass medal if you needed. But essentially from stage 10 and onwards, you do need to start using uh, the Dark Gnaw. Um, simply because of the fact that it does have the highest multipliers and you do need to start using a power setup. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, but in order to beat Lexius, uh, you do need to start using the Dark Gnaw. So trying to use as many setups as possible using the Dark Gnaw is going to be your best bet. So now for stage 11, I'm actually going to be still be using the Dark Gnaw, just like I mentioned before in stage 10. However, I'm doing something slightly different. Um, from stage 11 upwards, you do need to start using uh, any sort of debuffers that you can before you reach your Lexius Plus or your Light or Terra that match its attribute uh, beforehand to, in order to do most damage. So example, in my Dark Gnaw setup right here, uh, I am using my Sephiroth EX Plus right here in order to make sure I can cap out my reverse debuffs that my Lexius Plus copies are going to do over here. Uh, and the main reason behind this is because of the fact that because of the fact that in stage 11 he and upwards he has so much HP that if you don't have those debuffs, um, you're going to have a really difficult time or just not be able to beat him at all. Um, and you really do need to start having those debuffs at this time. So, for example, so in this case, if you are happen to be using like FFRK Terra or Warrior Light, that's not as much of a problem because of the fact that their abilities do carry on throughout the rest of the turn. But for Lexius Plus, that does not apply because he only does it for his own attack. So you do need metals such as Sephiroth right here in order to do that. Um, if you don't have Sephiroth EX Plus, you can go ahead and experiment with trying to use metals such as Master Xehanort EX Plus or HD Vanitas EX Plus if needed in, play in the same spot that Sephiroth EX is in right now. Um, although, you would have to test around with that. And in this case too, I'm also using Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie as my friend medal uh, instead of a Lexius Plus medal um, because in fact I do need the SP gauge restoration because my Lexius Plus does not have an SP gauge rest, uh, reduction skill on him at all whatsoever so I do need the SP gauge restoration so that's what I'm using for my friend medal. So at stage 11, his first threshold, once you reach below 2,286 HP bars, is when he'll do his first counterattack. And for his second threshold, uh, once you reach below 347 HP bars, is when he'll do his second counterattack. Um, the only things you need to know for stage 12 is that his counters will go down to 5 instead of 10 like it was last stage. And his HP... Uh, his first threshold, once you go below 2,571 HP bars, is when his when he'll do his first counterattack. And for his second threshold, once you go below 391 HP bars, is when he'll do his second counterattack. Now, in terms of stage 13, everything is pretty much the exact same again. Um, the only difference being that his thresholds change just like usual. And his first threshold, once you go below... Uh, 2,856 HP bars is when he'll do his first counterattack, and for a second threshold, once you go below 434 HP bars is when he'll do his second counterattack. Now, I know throughout this entire guide, I've been showing you guys uh, setups to use with Lexius Plus, but if you happen to be using the Warrior of Light or Terra, there's actually another setup they can do too. This is actually the exact same setup that I used 
uh, when I beat the event live on stream, when the event uh, first dropped, uh, what was it, Monday night or something? This is the setup that I use. Uh, and just like I mentioned before, you want to try using setups using the Dark Knot if possible. So in this case, uh, I personally beat before I got my own Lexius Plus uh, today, actually. Um, I used this setup in order to beat the last few stages of the event. So in case you don't have Lexius Plus or you just want a different possible setup you can use, this is the exact same setup that I used. Um, I have HD Vanitas uh, copy metal in my friend slot and I just copied another friend's uh, Warrior of Light as my friend metal and I basically just went all out, okay? This was basically my setup. But at the very least, remember, you do need to start using Dark Gnaw for the last few stages in order to beat it with the boosters. Woo! Alright, <laughs> that was honestly a bit of a mouthful. I'm, honestly, I'm not too sure on how much this guy's going to help, but I hope it helps out. Other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know uh, when I upload new videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemar Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.